Hello my friends. I'm here today across the street from the Knesset, Israel's parliament, which is in front of me. Behind me is the menorah, which is the actual symbol of the state of Israel, not the Star of David or anything else. The seven branch candlestick, the menorah. And I'm here to tell you that we are coming to the end of the mission, the Merkel Solidarity Mission, here in uh, August of 2014. We have learned a lot, we have seen a lot. Today we were at uh, a wonderful Navy base in Haifa aboard one of the prime ships that are carrying out the uh, demilitarization campaign off the shore of Gaza and preventing uh, seaborne terrorists from coming against uh, Israel from Gaza, which they also have tried to do. And what we, the, what we have come to in speaking to military commanders and speaking to heads of think tanks and today in speaking to members of the Knesset is a simple message. We need to go home and bring forth the truth of what we've learned here in Israel. For we do believe, as the scripture states, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So we're going to bring the truth to counter the lies and the half-truths that are in most of the media today and to counter the pernicious attacks from the UN and from various governments, including sadly sometimes our own, that don't rec really recognize Israel's right to defend herself against these thousands of rockets that have flown from Gaza to uh, the south of Israel, in fact, to all of Israel. As I think I might have mentioned, we had one rocket uh, explode over us in Tel Aviv on our second, on our first full day in Israel. And thankfully, no harm was done because it, like many, was hit by uh, one of the Iron Dome defensive missiles. But this is no way to live. The Israelis, soon the children will want to go back to school. And Israel wants to resume its normal life. Everything is going fine. Israelis are leading a normal life, but when you have to wonder, can you send your kids to school now that fall is coming, or will tourists come back again and, re and revive the tourist industry that's been destroyed by the Hamas attacks, we have to say enough is enough. And we have to say enough with the foolishness of supporting the Hamas terrorists on an equal basis with the legitimate state of Israel, our friend and ally. We're gonna talk more about this in the days ahead as I spend some more time here in Eretz Israel, the land of Israel. But I want to assure you that bottom line, Israel lives. Am Israel Chai, the people of Israel are alive, they're productive, they're happy, and they're well. And we'll talk more about this in the days ahead. God bless you, thank you, and come to Israel.